Thank you. It's great to be here. Good morning. Um, and that was a great introduction, Alistair. It's really a pleasure to tell you a little bit about this contest we sponsored in the context of this conference. We wanted to create a contest along with the O'Reilly people in the Strata Conference to give people an opportunity to tell great stories with data. People that didn't necessarily, weren't necessarily programmers, didn't necessarily have experience, but loved the idea of data. And we wanted to showcase a type of data that is often underutilized and underexposed. And so we focused on the idea of government data. Government data for the citizens, by the citizens, so that we could tell some great stories about what could happen with that data. So we went ahead and uh, promoted a conference this summer. And I'm here today to announce uh, two of the winners. Um, I'll take you a little bit through, though, the simple principles we wanted to see people do. And the first principle was that we asked them to visualize public data with our free tool that Alistair mentioned called Tableau Public. Tableau Public is something you can download from our website at tableausoftware.com or tableaupublic.com. And it connects to data files, Excel files, what have you, uh, lets you visualize, discover, explore data, tell a great story, publish it to our servers, and then anytime you put your URL or a little bit of HTML code in a blog or website, we'll serve it up for free. Uh, so we really wanted to see people explore these data uh, that they found on the web. Uh, we made some suggestions, but we got an incredible range of different kinds of data. We also wanted people really to focus on telling a useful story, an interesting story, a story that maybe would motivate or inspire or educate. And we got an amazing range of people telling useful stories, stories that became personal and relevant to the audience member, as you'll soon see. If you did this all right and you did a great job at it, of course, the ultimate principle was win some great prizes. So our winner uh, today has won a large cash prize, I think $2,000, a free trip to Las Vegas at a five-star resort, and the opportunity to, create, to compete against two other winners for the ultimate title of Iron Viz, as in Iron Chef. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. We're going to do a one hour on stage, show us your skills. And it uh, should be a lot of fun in October. So look for announcements about who wins the ultimate title. I want to take you through um, first our first winner, which was our crowd favorite. And this was John Bockenstadt. He works at DePaul University and has a lot of interest in education data. So he discovered the world of higher education. He, he helped us visualize basically data about every public university or every university college in the US that accepts a certain kind of aid or funds. And it has over 80 different metrics. So, you know, not a huge amount of data, but certainly complex. And what he did is he made it personal. What I love about what he did is he made it personal and interesting to me. So he has a blog he calls the 10 Second Cynic. And here's what he did. He basically took a visualization of the data. He gave tons of ability to customize here. Um, and you can actually pick your particular university. So I went to a Catholic university in the far west. And let me get this computer here. And I can discover my, how my students or the freshmen at my alumna or my alum university are doing these days. So I went to Santa Clara, and I can see people in critical reading skills and math skills are about the 600s. And I'm wondering how did that compare to my scores, but fortunately, I don't really remember. So I, I don't have to have a complex about that. So again, what John did was, again, make some really uh, big, not big data, but deep data, rich data, robust data that might be boring in a table, exciting and personal. It made it really relevant. I'd like to show you as well as the, the, the main winner, which was the first place winner, Steve Wexler, uh, out of the Northeast here. He had a totally different tact. He actually had read about a policy in the state of Texas where they were going to decimate funding of family planning services. And he really wondered how that was going to affect social uh, health, particularly around sexually transmitted disease, uh, HIV and AIDS. So he went to the state of Texas website, found five years worth of health data, and did some visualization of it. Let me show you what he had in mind. Um, here's his, his particular blog right here. He writes at a blog called Data, Visual, Data Revelations. He did a, a deep analysis of what he discovered. And he created this um, visualization that really kind of walks you through questions that he had or that you might have about what's, what's likely to happen in Texas with, um, with, uh, these, with these changes in funding to um, this, uh, the family planning services. So here's an example where he's looking at the number of cases in counties across Texas for all sort of STDs and HIV and AIDS. You can look at particular diseases. You can look at a, a rate of disease. So although there might be a lot of people 
and therefore a lot of cases, the rate based on the size of the county might be different. So you can see definitely certain areas are popping up as being quite high rates. Here's Potter County, not a big county, but doing some, some, some amazing kind of a, uh, not good rates of um, disease infection. So he went really quite far in doing some good stuff. He went even into things and looked at other dimensions and other questions that you could ask. And again, it tells you a story. It drove you through what he projected could happen or might happen with uh, these decimated cuts in the budget in Texas. So instead of people ha hearing about a policy change and having opinions about it, what he helped do is bring facts to the story, facts to his opinions, facts to sharing this information with other people, which is a great way to have conversations. Let's make them fact-based. So I'm uh, thrilled to tell you about the success that John and Steve had with Tableau Public. I want to encourage you, of course, to come visit us at our booth uh, today. Check out the winners yourself. We have, a, we have a page on our website called Strata Winners at tableausoftware.com where you can actually play with the data and you can go find out, are you smarter than your college alums, freshmen. Uh, so again, we'll see you at the booth and thank you so much for being here.